Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to find out the height bounced back by a freely falling body. When it is dropped from a certain height, often certain number of the collisions. Let us understand what I mean by that. Consider a ball, a smooth spherical ball, falling freely with a zero velocity onto a solid floor from a height h. Let it strikes the floor where the floor is heavy initially in the state of rest. Even after the collision also the floor is still in the state of rest and the ball bounced back to a height h1. We know coefficient of restitution is defined as ratio of relative velocity of the separation after the collision to the relative velocity of the approach before the collision as per the definition. Being the second body in the state of rest, v2 is also equal to 0. But as where this is the u1 or initial velocity of the body just before the collision. This is the V1, final velocity of the same body immediately after the collision. Being in the opposite direction, minus. Minus V1 has to be written. So, coefficient of restitution can be written as V1 by U1. We have derived this even in the previous derivation also. Using kinematics equation, V1 can be written like root 2g h1, U1 can be written like root 2g h. So, coefficient of restitution can also be expressed in terms of the heights as height bounced after the first collision by the height from which the body has fallen freely root of h2 by h1 or in this case h2 is treated as h1 h1 is treated as h so I got the formula now in the case of first collision height bounced back by height from which it has fallen if I square this that implies h1 equal to e square into h where e is a constant called as coefficient of restitution that is during the first collision let the ball has fallen back on the ground bounced back to a different height h2 so during the second collision again i can apply the formula during the second collision Basing on the definition E as height to which it has bounced back and the height from which it has fallen under the square root. Squaring that. So H2 equal to E square times of H1. But I know H1 in terms of the basic height from which the body has started falling as E square H. So E square the place of h1 again e square h that is e power 4 times of h that is e power 2 into 2 times of h that is in the first case e power 2 into 1 times of h so after the first collision e power 2 into h after the second collision e power 4 into h or e power 2 into 2 into h let us say there is one more collision and after the collision the ball has bounced back to a height h3 so after third collision or during the third collision again coefficient of restitution can be written like root of 
height to which it has bounced back the height from which it has fallen squaring this that implies but I know h2 already e power 4 into h so h3 equal to e3 again e power 4 into h so h3 is e power 6 into h h3 is e power 2 into 3 into h so after the first collision we got a term e power 2 into 1 after second collision you got a term e power 2 into 2 after third collision you got a term e power 2 into 3 into h that implies after n number of collisions height bounced back by a body is e power 2 into n where n is the number of the collision into the h where h is the height from which has started falling to failing with a zero velocity like this we can calculate the height bounced back by the body after n number of the collisions in case of a elastic collision of course we are assuming like this collision is not a perfect elastic collision and v value is less than one if the collision is a perfect elastic collision there is no loss of energy therefore bounced back by the body height bounced back the back by the body needs to be equal to the height from where it has fallen itself there is no difference at all every time the ball bounces back to its original height itself because there is no loss of energy in that case thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you